It can feel very discouraging when patients think that I have been taking this retinal injections for so many months now, but I don't experience the improvement I'm seeking. I still see things a bit blurry. I still see things a bit crooked. Will I ever see the way I used to see before? Let's understand the possible reasons behind this. I'm Dr. Shrutika Junagare Kankriya, retinologist and cataract surgeon at Asian Eye Hospital, Pune. Eye injections reduce the swelling in the central part of retina called macula. Various common diseases treated with retinal injections or eye injections are age-related macular degeneration, diabetic macular edema, retinal vein occlusions. Now let's see how the injections work. We give injections inside the eye. The injections reduce the VEGF concentration in the eye, which reduces the swelling inside the eye. Now we need to understand this injection stays in eye for a limited time. The time ranges from 4 weeks to 16 weeks depending upon the injection you are choosing. After the injection concentration has gone down a particular level inside the eye, the swelling again comes up. Patients feel very good under the effect of injection, say after 2-3 to three weeks after giving the injection and they start seeing things clearly, there is a sigh of relief, oh wow, my vision has gotten better. But they don't realize the fact that after the concentration of injection has gone down, the swelling can come again. And it's important to see the doctor when they are called. They usually delay the appointment and reach the doctor after the swelling has come up again. That's what we need to understand as a patient. You need to see the retina specialist after three weeks or between three to six weeks of injection, do the OCT scan, see how you have responded to the injection and then please take the next injection on the scheduled time. Do not delay it. The delay in the next injection causes the swelling to stay in the retina for longer time which in turn damages the retinal cells and which in turn leads to suboptimal response as far as vision outcome is concerned. So what happens when you don't take the injections regularly? I always tell my patients that retinal disease, especially age-related macular degeneration is like a local cancer. It is like a local cancer meaning it keeps on progressing if we don't kill it in time. We need to aggressively treat this disease with repeated injections like patients with cancer would take repeated chemotherapy or radiotherapy until it is completely killed. Now, if you don't take the injections regularly, say six to eight injections in first year, then we allow this disease to grow without killing it completely. This leads to increase in size of the disease and what you are left with is lesser vision than what you would have got. So you need to understand that we need to destroy this disease with regular frequent injections for at least first one to two years or even later until the disease is completely killed like how we would approach cancer. We don't rest until we finish it. Only then we will get the best possible vision in these patients. Also, some patients find the eye injections treatment very expensive. Well, compared to any heart disease or any cancer therapy, which also occurs in older age, eye injection treatment is not that expensive. It's just the perspective towards eye injection or how much you would invest for eye treatment has to change. Also, the good news is, all these injections are under insurance coverage. Not only that, I feel the patient needs to understand that this disease is a serious disease and we are going to need injections continuously for at least one to two years. Sometimes the retina doctor are hesitant to tell this to the patient out of the fear if what if the patient gets demotivated by this knowledge or information. But it's our retina doctor's duty to inform the patient, involve the patient in the treatment and motivate the patient and prepare the patient to take these injections regularly for at least one to two years. 
If the patient's mindset is prepared for such injections, they are more willing to take injections and that will also bring out a better vision outcome. Another very relevant and surprising thing I have noticed is Patients don't realize when only one eye is affected by these retinal diseases because age-related macular degeneration is painless disease, doesn't have any symptoms, redness, irritation. And if the vision is slowly or gradually reducing in one eye, and if the other eye is absolutely normal, they don't realize that they're losing vision in one eye. And one fine day when they accidentally close the good eye and they see that they're not able to see very clearly with the other eye. That's when they realize that something has gone wrong with the eyes. And by the time they reach the doctor, sometimes the disease has already reached advanced stage. So another important tip I would like to give all patients after the 60s and 70s is to do a home cover test to check their own vision. I think we all have a calendar or some mm, frame at a long distance uh, in the, on a wall. What you just need to do is cover each eye and keep checking your vision with one eye cover. It's like a self eye checkup test and this will also help you to notice any vision loss at the early stage. The crux of all the retinal disease is early diagnosis and early treatment. I have seen patients Indecisive nature can also lead to delay in treatment. They are not able to decide whether it's safe to take injection inside the eye. And out of sheer fear and uh, indecisiveness, we lose very crucial early time of the disease when the injection works the best. So let me tell you for who all are suffering from AMD. In the first year of the disease, we might need six to nine injections in the second year of the disease, this will reduce to say three to six injections. And in the third and fourth year, you may still require injection, but the frequency might reduce to even three to six or even one to two, depends upon the disease. So you need to be mentally prepared to take injections for next few years if you have this disease. Like in this particular patient, we diagnosed the disease very early. She was my cataract patient. On a routine follow-up, we picked up this disease called AMD because she started seeing things very uh, minutely wavy, not very grossly wavy, very minutely wavy. And that's what is important. Even if you see little waviness, little blurriness, that's when you should reach the doctor. So we picked up this disease in very early stage. We started injections without wasting any time. In the past two years, she has received nine injections so nine injections in the past two years because we picked the disease early and we gave the injection which lasts longer which actions last from three to six weeks that is brolicizumab and vabismo these are the newer injections whose action lasts little longer with these injections we can drastically reduce the frequency of injections and you see, we have been able to restore a vision of 6, 9 and 6 in this patient very successfully. So remember, taking injections is not waste of time, is not waste of money. It is helping you to restore your vision and preserve your independence. If your vision is still dropping despite the injections, don't lose hope. Let's review your treatment, change the treatment plan, change the injection that you're giving and let's give your eye a fair chance to bring out the best in it. Retina problem. We give results and revive vision. If you found this video helpful, do share it with your family. Do subscribe and like our channel.